Well, it was great to sing together. And uh, now we're going to have our, our second Bible reading, the Bible reading uh, for our talk this morning uh, from Matthew chapter 5. And Michael Johnston's going to read for us. This reading is taken from Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 to 10. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Well, thank you very much, Michael, for reading uh, for us. I'll be thinking about part of that passage a bit later in our time together. Well, now, one, we, we're going to spend a few minutes just thinking about something that might be pretty helpful for the children, but actually hopefully helpful for us all. And to think about this, we need to think about two things that you might do when uh, if you didn't have all the sort of modern things you'd have today. So imagine you're a farmer and you don't have a tractor. You might have seen uh, farmers with tractors in their fields. Well, imagine you didn't have a tractor. How would you plough your fields and sort of turn over the soil? Well, what people used to do is use uh, animals pulling a plough uh, and they'd join animals together with what was called a yoke uh, and then uh, attach the plough to the back. So it'd be a bit like this. Here's um, a picture of a couple of uh, cows, a couple of oxen with a yoke. This is a sort of wooden uh, a sort of frame over their necks and then the uh, the plough or whatever would be attached to the back of that and they could sort of pull it along. So that's what a, a yoke looks like, an animal yoke. And obviously it means the two animals need to go together, they can't go in different directions, they have to sort of go the same direction, pulling the plough. Well also think about what you'd do if you needed to transport stuff but didn't have a car. You'd carry a certain amount yourself but after a while it'd get hard work. Well, one of the things people did in the past and still do uh, in some parts of the world today will be put their uh, goods on an animal and the animal would carry things for them. So here I've got a picture of, I think it might be a donkey. It's not an area of specialty of mine, but it might be a donkey. And it's carrying an awful lot of stuff. It's carrying lots and lots of uh, packages and all sorts of things. It looks like hard work, doesn't it? Um, it's carrying a big burden. And again, that help us to think about our Bible passage this morning. Because we're going to listen to something that Jesus says about what it's like when we come to him. Let me find uh, and read these verses for us. It's what Jesus says later on in Matthew's Gospel. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus invites everybody who is weary or burdened, those who are struggling, to come to him. And when we do come to him, he says we receive rest. We are, uh, when we come to Jesus, connected to him. In this picture here, we're yoked like a yoke to an animal. We're yoked to Jesus. So we're going to go the same way Jesus goes. But you might think that sounds like hard work. You know, there's animals in the pictures, pulling the ploughs, lots of hard work. What about if we're with Jesus? But Jesus says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And a bit later, my yoke is easy and my burden light. So following Jesus isn't like that, that Poor donkey in that picture we see, saw that was sort of loaded down with stuff. It's not even like animals having a really hard time sort of pulling the plough along. It is being yoked to Jesus, joined to him, going the same way he's going. But actually in his goodness, it's a, a good thing, a thing that brings us rest. We get rest now and then rest forever with Jesus. 
So we don't have to experience a sort of burden of trying to keep the rules that God might accept us or any of the other burdens we might have in life. Instead, we can come to Jesus for rest. We can know that rest now and we can look forward to it eternity when we're with Jesus, enjoying that rest. Come to Jesus, trust in him and receive his rest. Well, let's pray, shall we? Father God, we thank you for Jesus um, uh, welcoming people here, calling people to him. Lord, we thank you that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Lord, we thank you that Jesus is gentle and humble in heart. Lord, we thank you for the kind and gentle way he treats us. Lord, we thank you we can know Jesus now and find rest now and rest for eternity. We thank you for all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're going to sing again now and we're going to sing a hymn that reminds us about how Jesus was both the greatest king, God's great king, and also came to us in humility and meekness. We're going to sing together meekness and majesty. Then after that, it'll be time for our, our talk, our sermon on Matthew uh, chapter 5, verse 5. 